Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button on your way in the door. Go hang out in the VIP section and enjoy this video. We got 10 inch Olaf drop today. So I wasn't going to pick up 10 inch Olaf, but the other day I went there to buy paper towels, um, soap for the laundry, um, all the other stuff you buy for laundry, a bunch of stuff, uh, household stuff. I don't know what kind of sale Target was doing, but whatever you bought, I guess it was up to like a certain amount. I didn't even know. They gave me a $10 gift card, Target gift card. And then there's also a 25% off discount that you can use towards one toy. So I put Olaf up at the register, use a 25% off. Then I use a $10 gift card. I only paid $14 for Olaf. So when you're going to get that triple, or not triple, sorry, double discount, going to pick them up. So um, picked up the 10 inch Olaf. That was today's drop. I believe if you, if you phrase it correct, not phrase it correctly, they phrased it. If you kind of break break it down i think next week i don't know but based on what target has on their website they're doing a teaser for what's going to drop next friday i think it's going to be the 10 inch uh ev which is a pokemon i think so um which i do want the 10 inch ev too so and i don't do a lot of the 10 inch pokemon but that one i do want all right so let's get into the video guys we got some cool stuff that dropped harley quinn um dropped the good thing about this one is I actually have her out of the box. So let me show you what she looks like out of the box. She looks great because I'm putting her next to the Christmas tree. So I picked up two of them um, and I love, check this out guys, I, the back of her, you will miss this if you don't open it. She's got the little, uh, whatever they're called, uh, bells in her hair. And then her hat, which you can barely see in there, obviously the colors of uh, they broke it down, Harley Quinn style, the colors and the design and everything looks phenomenal. She's got her mallet. I can't wait to see Birds of Prey. Um, I just watched a movie yesterday um, called Ford versus Ferrari. It's not a movie I would normally watch because it's just not in my genre of what I like, but it was phenomenal and they had a great Birds of Prey uh, trailer um, getting everyone ready for Harley freaking Quinn. So she looks amazing. That one is staying out of the box because it's a holiday pop. We got the new Darth Vader. Oh man. So on Instagram, if you're not following me, the link will be in the description below on Instagram. Um, check me out. I posted a little video of this one, but I'm gonna do it here in case you guys don't have Instagram or in case you're not following me, which is fine. Um, that way you can check this bad boy out right here. So we have Darth Vader. This is the light up and sound. So this is number four on the light up pops and i'm not including the the christmas the the gamestop christmas pops or the the house that lights up i mean that is one yes but i'm talking like a single pop this is number four uh in the light up this is number one in the sound here we go there's three different ones And this is the last one, it's a deeper breath. <laughs> this was pre-ordered by myself at GameStop. Um, they have it at Think Geek and GameStop. Pre-orders did come in. Um, so had to pick him up as a pre-order. I'm gonna put him right over to the side because I don't want to make this a 15 minute video. It might be, but I'm trying not to make it. All right, shout out. Oh, check this out. So you remember the two unboxings I did for the mystery minis for uh, Frozen, right? The Frozen mystery minis I did. And I said the top two middle and the bottom two middle are the ones to go after to try to find the one in 24s, which this was on my new one. So I, I bought four more boxes. I'm not gonna do a video on four boxes, four actual individual boxes, not a case. So I bought it. I got a 1 in 24. Even though I already have this one, it's still 1 in 24 Anna. Elsa, sorry. And I got the 1 in 72 Anna. The hardest one to find. I have out of three cases, she was in one of them. She is extremely hard. 1 in 72. And I don't know if she was on the top two or the bottom two, but I said in that video, the safest bet because of duplicates, always go for the top two middle and the bottom two middle. They put out a brand new box. I know it wasn't touched. 
Um, and so I grabbed those four and guess what? I got the one in 72 and I got the one in 24. In case you're wondering what the other two were, they're duplicates, but I got Kristoff um, and Sven. So not bad, not bad. Um, really excited. Just wanted to show that to you. Um, I adopted some pops from Lisa and James at their pop adoption. Um, so we got Peasant Bell came in. So I bought these off of them. Um, I needed this one in my collection. So really excited to have Peasant Bell. I have almost, I, I don't want to say that. I have a lot of Bell Pops. I was going to say I have almost all of them, but maybe there's some that I don't have. Um, I have to look again, but I have, I would say at least 80% of them because um, I collect Bell. And Officer, you're like, you collect everything, Anthony. I know. And then I wanted to get Officer Freddy. They had it up for the pop adoption. So Lisa and James, thank you. They came in great shape. Got both of these swiped, swiped with the, with the uh, PayPal, sent it over and uh, they mailed them in perfect condition. Uh, looking great. So happy to finally have this one in my collection. Officer Freddie from the New York Comic Con 2019. That was a must have for me. Um, I'm going to be opening this one up in a minute. That's right. This dropped today. Today. This dropped. Perfect sell. GameStop exclusive. T-shirt and a pop. All right. We got the Funko Shop exclusive came in. The Knights of Ren. And this one is amazing. I didn't like the way it looked on the Mystery Mini. Which is right here. When I opened my Mystery Mini Star Wars. I didn't really like the way it looked there. But in pop form, bigger form, he looks great. Uh, I still can't pronounce that word, so I'm going to say Sith, Sickle, I don't know. But that is one of the Knights of Ren. I'm collecting all the Knights of Ren pops, so definitely had to have that one. And then this came in as well. I finally got Lucio. This is the last one from the Blizzard. Well, I have one more box. I'm not going it's to... It's a surprise. I have a box that I got. It was $50. That's how much it cost at the actual Blitz con which is blizzard's con comic con kind of but the video game con for blizzard entertainment and um so this is with the blizzard con sticker um so i got lucio which is the third one in the overwatch set that i wanted so i have a uh, pumpkin reaper um i have Gingy, and then i have lucio all blitz con exclusive stickers on them um they don't have no shared sticker kind of stuff you got to get it right from the con or right from blizzard's website before they sell out had to pick that one up I picked this one up as well. I don't. I didn't have this one. I've been looking for her everywhere. I finally found her at a Hot Topic, so I definitely had to snatch up this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Maleficent. Just sharing you. Just sharing very quick. Sharing you some pops that I got. Um, I got all six, as you probably saw in the thumbnail. Thank you so much to Daniel Ortiz. I cannot tell you enough how much. Dude, the guy is a life sin. Um, one of the kind, I mean, just phenomenal. One of the kindest guys. Um, every time he's in Disneyland or he's going to go to, you know, do something Funko related, he, he lets me know. And, um, you know, I let him know what I want. And, and we talk on Instagram and I get every, all the details sorted out. And um, I got all, well, not all because there's other ones, but the six that I wanted I really wanted, I would say I wanted five of the six. One of them I'm glad I picked up though. And I'll tell you which one that is when we get to that. I'm going to end the video with the six. Uh, I just want to pronounce it right. The six Funko Hollywood exclusives. Limited edition. You can only get these on eBay. Or you can get these at the Funko store in Hollywood. Okay. So I got six of those to show you. Phenomenal pops. But we're going to open this one up. We're going to end it with that one. Um, as I'm opening this, if you're still watching, hopefully you're still with me. Nine minutes and 25 seconds into this. We have a live that I'm doing. We're going to be announcing we, meaning I. I will be announcing all the winners. We have over 100 people that voted for any channel, any pop channel that they wanted with all 10 categories. The Moon Man Awards. Let me just come over here. So I can remind you, staying on camera, we got the Moon Mans. We're handing out 10 Moon Man, best channel, best live, best unboxing videos. We got all 10 categories 
going down this Sunday, in just two days, this Sunday, 6 p.m. Central Time. That's 7 p.m. Eastern. I don't know what time that is on the West Coast. 6 p.m. Central Time. I'm going live. Definitely check me out. Come hang out. See who won. I'm going to be announcing the winners for the awards, and I'll be sending these out. Um, I'm like four Moon Man short because these are sold out in so many stores. So I bought, I had already ordered them. They've already, they're already being shipped to me. Um, so I'm, I'm missing four more. So those missing four are actually already on their way from Hot Topic. So they should be here any day. They'll probably be here by Sunday, if not by Monday. And then I will ship out all 10 awards to all the winners going down this Sunday, this Sunday, 6 p.m. Central. Check me out. I'm going live. Uh, and I'm going to be announcing that. All right. I hope this pop is in great condition. You know how these boxes can be. The t-shirt's always going to be in good shape. But is the pop going to be in good shape? We're about to find out. Just dropped today. Dragon Ball Z. Perfect sell. I'm excited. Looks great. Let's, uh, let's take a quick look at the tee. This is going to be a cool t-shirt. I pre-ordered this one as well. Um, but even when I went to pick up the pre-order... There were still plenty. When I say plenty, there's still like five boxes left. So plenty of boxes if you didn't pre-order it. But you better go snatch it up. Better go snatch it up. The price point on this bad boy was $29.99 plus tax. So, um, but they did drop today. And here, let's look at the pop. Put the box right over here. And the pop looks like he's in great shape. And he kind of looks metallic. I'm not sure if they're going to label it metallic. So I don't want to miss inform you by saying it's a certain type of pop i'm assuming it's metallic but i don't know but it has a metallic look to it there is perfect cell gamestop exclusive looking phenomenal matter of fact well i was going to take them out but i don't want to make i didn't want to make a 15 minute video and i still have to show you six more pops um but he looks great guys he looks great I am going to take a picture and throw them on Instagram for you so you can see what he looks like outside the box. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's in the description below. All right, let's get busy, guys. We're going to wrap it up with the six pops. The six pops from the LA Hollywood store just opened. Sorry, I got a table over here. I have to lean over to. Give me one second. All right, we're going to jump right in. Nothing too spectacular besides the sunglasses, but I love this pop. Boom, Tony the Tiger. One of my favorite Frosted Flakes, one of my favorite cereals. Tony the Tiger sporting them shades. Funko Hollywood exclusive. Right from the store. Thanks again to Daniel Ortiz. Hooking it up. Phenomenal guy. And uh, thank you for sending me these in phenomenal shape too. Boxes, packages, them great. Um, thank you so much, Daniel. These are so amazing. There's Tony the Tiger. We got Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. She's shopping. She got her little Funko bag. She got her little Funko bag on. We got Wonder Woman shopping at the Funko store. By the way, I will be going to the Funko store in 2020. Um, I'll probably announce that because I do want to do, I don't know if they're going to let me do a live there. I know Lisa and James just went there. They recorded. I know some other people were able to record inside. I don't know if they'll let you do a live, like like while you're walking around or not. That's what I kind of want to do. Either way, I do plan on going there in 2020 and uh, visiting the store myself. Why? Because I love Funko. I have, I spend so much money on it. I got to go check out the store and uh, take pictures with all those humongous Funko Pops that they have on display. Store's outrageously enormous. I can't wait to go in 2020. Uh, when that date pops up soon, I'll let you guys know in case any of you guys want to head over there and meet me. If you're living in LA or you, you happen to be in that area at that time, we can meet up and, uh, go pop shopping at the Funko shop. I'm sure by the time I go in 2020, they'll probably have new pops with new, you know, the same sticker, but newer pops. I'm hoping at least that they, uh, get these pops done and bring us some new ones. Anyways, we got Huckleberry Hound. This was a must have for me as well. Um, I didn't know. Daniel, I didn't know that Daniel had to remind me, hey, there's Huckleberry Hound, because I didn't know he was there. Um, and so I was like, yeah, you got to snatch that one up. Yep, I want that one too. This is the one that I didn't know about. I mean, I knew about, but I wasn't sure. I really didn't want him at first, because I thought it was just the same Chester Cheetah. 
I didn't think anything different of him. I was like, I already have Chester Cheetah. I don't need another one. But he's holding the cheetah bag. Ah, it's so hard to see. There you go. He's holding the chest. He's holding the bag of Cheetos. And that's what sold me on it. Believe it or not. There it is. You can see a little version of it. That's what sold me on him. Holding the bag of Cheetos. I know. But I had to have them. These are my two faves, guys. All right. These are my two faves. These are my two faves. We're going to start with... They're tied for first place. They're tied for first place. We got Hollywood Freddy. Oh, my God. With the... They don't... Funko doesn't have the uh, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. But Freddy's holding one. And when you go... I haven't been there. But when you go to the Funko store... You see that little crown? You see that little crown there in the middle of the star? They have crowns everywhere, hidden, and you have to count how many are in the store. There is a lot of them. And uh, they're hidden. They're like little gems. So as you're walking around the store, you need to find... You don't need to. If you want to play and have fun, you can try to find all the crowns hidden in the entire store. There's some that are obvious, and then there's a lot of them that are hidden that you really got to search for. Pretty cool. I definitely want to do that. Uh, when I go visit the store. But Freddy Funko Hollywood version. Amazing. This is tied for first place. With for me. Uh, the most important two pops to get from that store. With the sticker. Is going to be that one. And you cannot get any better. They're tied. But holy crap. Marilyn Monroe. What? What? Marilyn friggin Monroe. Hands down. Bombshell. Funko Pop. Like, this is the pop. <laughs> I'm telling you, wow. With the shades on, with the way her, whatever, I don't know, women's clothing, whatever that's called, is over her shoulder. She looks phenomenal. Sorry for all the glare. This I didn't want to make this a 15-minute video. Sorry that it's 17 minutes. Hopefully you're still hanging out with me. I asked you to go to the VIP. If you haven't went to the VIP room, click that like button because you can't go unless you hit that like button. Hit the like button and then go back to the VIP room. Okay, you can't enter the VIP room unless you click the like button. That is a must, all right? So guys, that is my haul. Thank you so much for watching. I will tell you that I do have Tiny Ghost dropping next. That is my next video. Don't want to miss it. If you're a Tiny Ghost fan, definitely come hang out. If you're not a Tiny Ghost fan, you should be, and I'll show you why when I do that next video. That one's coming next. Enjoy your Friday. Please be kind to one another, everybody, and I will see you on the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.